Now, picture the scene. You've had a busy day, you're in a deep sleep, snoring away, until... <sighs> and then... Yes, it's your pesky neighbour doing the housework again at 4am. That's the problem of one woman who says it's inconsiderate of those who live above her. Now, surely she's got a point, Linda. Yeah, she has got a point. 4 a.m. is silly, isn't it? I mean, up till 12 o'clock at night, that should be right to do hoovering and put your washing on and that. I mean, I left home... Uh, sorry, say that again? Up till about 12 o'clock, cos my neighbour... To neighbor midnight? on at 12? But my, my, my neighbour is my son. He lives downstairs to me, so he don't mind if I put the washing... He does moan now and again. If you lived above me and you're putting your washing on at midnight, I'd be there with the broom handle <laughs> going, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> no, but I left home early this morning. Normally, I would put a wash on before I left, but I wasn't supposed to be in today, so I was called last minute. So my house would be like a bomb zit when I got um, there'll be trouble when I get in that house if it's not tidy. Why when I get do there. you do your washing at night? Just out of interest. I very, <laughs> very, very occasionally do it, but I check with my neighbour next door to hear if she can. But then I'm only doing the 20 minute cycle. I'm not doing. Mine's only white... a small cycle, but I've got the same bra on that I've had on for I don't know how many years, so I have to wash <laughs> Too it every much night. Information. <laughs> Katie, if one of your neighbours was really noisy, would you confront them? Right, I've got to say, this is a real weakness of my personality. I'm an absolute wet blanket. Um, I hate confrontation and I will avoid it at all costs. So I'd probably grumble about it behind the neighbour's back to Richie and then never actually confront But what about himself? going and being a, ni a nice confrontation and saying, excuse yeah. me, but... I'm a big believer in communication. So you don't know who you've got living next door to you and it's your duty to find out. You know, have they got a newborn baby? Do they work nights? Have they got insomnia, mental health problems? So I would try and connect with people and talk to them and just keep an open dialogue and be a bit considerate. But, yeah, I always end up people pleasing for the neighbours. Are you a people pleaser, Jana? <laughs> I was thinking, um, what language has Katie just used? She could have been talking in Urdu. I understood nothing of the last paragraph. I need you to advocate for me. That's what I mean. Advocate for you, right. OK. Right, if in the summer people are having in their back gardens... Um, Dinner, that's fine, and then drinks, that's fine. But I've got a if I'm going to work the next day and they're still out there braying in their entitled voices <laughs> at 11 o'clock at night, I'm afraid. Do an impression. Go on. I open the window and I go, Can you shut up? Some of us, some people in this street, go to work first thing in the morning. I'd burst into tears if I was the neighbour. <laughs> <laughs> so you are the nightmare neighbour. I'm not yeah. a nightmare, I'm stating my position.